after invite your excellency to speak to us thank you and so much your excellency the president of the republic of kenya honorable william samoy ruto your excellency madam cindy mccain your excellency's ministers high commissioners and ambassadors present members of the Kenyan public and private sector partners who are present here today. Good morning. Uh, Your Excellency, allow me to digress a little, just for a minute or so. Uh, I'll make only two points or three, and that's it. One, um, from the Kenyan political landscape, the word coalition normally sends jitters. Because whenever there is the term coalition, somebody is thinking some new political setup is in the offing. Uh, but today, uh, we want to tell them, hold your horses. This coalition is not about politics. This coalition is about lives. We are here because it's a coalition bringing everybody together so that we can save lives and make those lives grow into uh, productive personalities all over. That then also brings me to the second point. Your Excellency, it is estimated that in areas of conflict in Africa, there are close to 100 million children out of school. They don't have the possibility of accessing school because of conflict, because people are fighting, because there are vagaries of climate change and so forth all combining and creating a very hostile environment for young people to go to school. So it's on that note that I just want to emphasize that in all this, the whole issue of stability, political stability and democratic regimes and governments that are brought in through the popular vote by the people really matter because it is political stability that will allow us to have the school children go there and allow us to feed them. So it is on that note that I commend the political climate in Kenya. Very vibrant, but it's all by the book. This is the only place where a presidential election can be nullified, but people go back to the ballot and get out of that hole. This is where our institutions are beginning to show resilience and the ability to consolidate governance in a positive way. So it's on that note that I wish to invite His Excellency the President because it's on the basis of political stability and the rule of law that we are able to speak here today about expanding this program. Finally, just to re-emphasize that we have had very good partnership with the World Food Program in a number of areas, and we are already in discussion for broadening the scope of that partnership. Uh, I will not disclose what it is, but the President is seized with it, and we shall move together and make sure that we realize that broadened partnership with the WFP. Your Excellency, may I invite you to the floor, and ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding so that we can welcome His Excellency the President to make his remarks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please let's take our seats. Let me 